Well, hello, it is June 7th, 2022, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello, and welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. Today, we're going to pick up, continuing kind of our discussion on on uh, being content in Christ and, and how do we find that contentment? How do we find that satisfaction? How do we find that peace, that shalom in our lives? And I want to look at a verse from one of the Psalms, from Psalm uh, 68. If you have your Bibles, turn there. Psalm 68, verse 19. Hear now the word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears us up. God is our salvation. Selah. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Let me let me begin at the end of the passage and, and just quickly address Selah. Selah is a word to the choir master, to the, the director. It's a musical term, more, more than likely. Uh, no one's real sure exactly what it means, uh, but it is meant to be a term to help... Uh, the, the leader of the music know what's coming up or has happened. Now, looking at the passage, when we talk about being content in the Lord, each and every day, we have to find our strength to be there. It's not easy to be contented, to be satisfied, to be comforted, and to, to have peace. And so we have to have strength. And the psalmist reminds us that the Lord is who daily bears us, us, bears us up, lifts us up, holds us, secures us, and enables us to be content. I know from my own experience, as well as I'm sure you do, that left to myself, I'm going to grumble and gripe. I'm going to be discontented. I always want more. And it is apart from God, uh, that's all I can do. When I am uh, with the Lord and walking with Christ, I can find my contentment in Him. He is the source, and he is the one that gives me the strength and bears me up. Why? Because we read at the end of this passage, God is our salvation. And our salvation gives us the hope in order to be born up. There's no use in, in throwing somebody the life preserver if they've fallen over the ship if, you're not, if that life preserver is not tied to a rope to pull them into the ship. Otherwise, all you've done is provided him a flotation advice to keep him afloat until he dies. Instead, God not only buoys us up, bears us up, but he's provided the means to give us that life, to return us to life, to restore us to life. That is through Jesus Christ, the salvation that we have in him through Christ. He gave his only begotten son, or as Paul writes in Romans, he demonstrated his love towards us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still drowning, he threw the life, life preserver to us, Jesus Christ, who then bears us up and carries us through the day, gives us the life, the strength, and the hope we need. As you go through the day and you're struggling and saying with your own contentment, remember that it is God who gives you the strength and can bear you up. Thomas Manton, the Puritan pastor in his uh, works, writes on this passage, and this is what he has to say. God, in an extraordinary manner, fed his people in the wilderness. They gathered manna day by day. Christ taught us to pray, give us this day our daily bread, not this month or year. God would like to hear from us each day. He would not have us too long out of his company, but by a frequent commerce become acquainted and familiar with him. You should not let a day pass over your head without God hearing from you. Your patent, la your patent lasts but for a day. Your lease from God for your comforts and mercies will expire unless you renew them by prayer. How different from the heart of God's children are those, con are those content to visit the mercy seat but once a year like the high priest. God would have us come every day to the throne of grace. Our mercies do not flow from God all at once, but some today and others tomorrow. Altogether, they are too heavy for us to wield and manage. Our mercies come in great numbers, but God distributes them by parcels that we are able to acknowledge them and be thankful for them. He loads us daily that we may not forget him, but have new reasons for praise. Each day we are in need of new strength, new grace, and new supplies. 
Every day affords business, trouble, care, and burdens enough. We do not need to anticipate and occupy ourselves with the next day. Each day has enough trouble of its own, Matthew 6.34. God would not have us to be overly burdened with worry about tomorrow. He would have us look no further than today. Life is a vapor, and we do not know whether we have another day, yet we are prone to sing lullabies to our souls. Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. Luke 22, 19. Take one day at a time and go to God that he will most plentifully provide for you. He is our source of comfort and strength, and he is our great provider. Let's turn to him each day. Let's close our time together today in prayer. <clears throat> Almighty God and Father, we thank you that we can come before your throne of grace to lift our hearts before you and pray that you would bear the burdens of the day. Your word tells us to be anxious for nothing but in all things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to make our request known to you. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will then guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we look to you for that peace. We look to you for that comfort. We look to you for that hope and that satisfaction. We look to you for that shalom. Be at work in us, O Lord, and make us to be the men and women of God you desire us to be. Father, build in us contentment, contentment in you for your glory and your kingdom, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me today. To find out more information about Eastminster and about our ministries, you can go to the website right up here and click on that link or, or type in that link and you can find some more information about us. We'd love to see you again uh, on Sunday. But until then, join me tomorrow as we gather together for some thoughts from the Word.